produce the amount, all those are secreted in the blood right away? No, no, no. It stores and it releases, means secret into the blood according to the necessity. According to the necessity, if it releases or secretes too much, so then too much T3, T4 will be in the blood. So then patient, it will be, normal people will turn into hyperthyroidism. It's a very disturbing. Now storage means it stores, it has a unique ability to store thyroid hormone in the follicle and release them in the steady flow over the long period. So, storage, from the storage and the release them in a steady manner. In a steady manner. Secretion into the blood stream according to the necessity. According to the necessity. Okay, so now I will discuss about the um, thyroid hormone functions. Thyroid hormone functions uh, okay, so this would be A and thyroid hormone functions B. What does the thyroid function hormones do? One, it regulates it regulates and maintain normal body metabolism. What do you mean by metabolism? The food we are consuming, right? It needs to be broken down into energy by metabolism. Metabolism has two parts. Catabolism and anabolism. Catabolism is breakdown. Anabolism is storing, piling up. Somebody is getting obese, obese, obese. That is anabolic action. And somebody is skinny, losing weight, weight. That is catabolic action. Okay? So number one, it regulates and maintains the normal body metabolism. Number two, regulates growth and development. Growth and development, especially during childhood. Especially during childhood. And number three. It regulates the activity of the nervous system the activities of the 
नर्वस सिस्टम पेपर इट रेगुलेट्स द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टम व्हाट डज इट मीन Who controls our body? The brain, right? Brain is a nervous system. That means it regulates the activities. That means it controls the growth. It stimulates the growth of the nervous system. Some baby can be intelligent, can be non-intelligent. Depends on the thyroxine level too. See how important it is. So this is thyroid functions one, two, three is very important. Now I will talk about the uh, thyroid stimulation. No, before thyroid stimulation of parafollicular cell functions. What is parafollicular? Look at here. This is the follicle, but there are cells outside of the follicle the cluster of the cells you remember in the test is the lytic cell same thing like that Okay, so these are the parafollicular cells. Parafollicular cells are responsible for calcitonin. Calcitonin, it produces calcitonin. By the name calcitonin, it deals with the calcium. It controls the calcium utilization, calcium absorption, calcium release, calcium utilization, and how much calcium will be absorbed. Calcitonin, vitamin D and parathyroid hormone all those three controls the calcium metabolism okay parafollicular functions number one thyroid cells which release calcitonin it release this calcitonin Calcitonin aids the parathyroid glands in regulating the use of calcium and okay one two three number three it inhibits the release of calcium from bones and 
increases the rate of bone absorption rate of bone absorption of calcium see it is a big functions calcitonin along with the parathyroid hormone and the vitamin D it controls the use of calcium and our body bones are made of raw materials is calcium as phosphorus our teeth the calcium and extracellular calcium intracellular calcium huge calcium we have in our body we eat milk right we drink milk we eat uh, milk product lot of milk product ice cream it's a milk milk product that has lot of calcium that why every grocery has the milk not even grocery in the supermarket even the pharmacy they have a department part they have a milk over there why it is the rule government rule if you want to open a store you must have this 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 so that consumers can get the all ideal food for the health it is the mandatory it is a rule so calcitonin has a big functions if the parafollicular cells is non functioning there will be less calcium calcium calcitonin and metabolism of calcium will be then damaged so what going to happen our bone and cartilage will be very weak brittle easy fractured that's why they check not only thyroid make sure these are calcium uh, parafollicular cells they may have cancer too and um, uh, this is uh, parafollicular cells and the can uh, follicular cells can have a cancer too okay so as a result so lot of lot of changes happens in our body if the calcium metabolism is disturbed so now i will show you how the thyroid gland gets stimulated that is very important how the thyroid gland gets stimulated to produce the hormone and when and how the thyroid gland stop producing hormone So D, thyroid stimulation. Our body has hypothalamus. The body means brain. Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus controls the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is known as a master gland. Pituitary gland will control the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland will produce the T3, T4. Right? So this T3 and T4 in the blood. So the balance or the stimulation, initiation of the t production of T3, T4 depends, uh, uh, the mechanism is known as negative feedback mechanism. 
if the T3 and T4 is reduced, that we call it negative, right? Negative balance. So this is this negative balance, this negative informations will go into the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus will release thyrotrophic hormone. Sorry, thyroid releasing hormone. Thyroid thyroid releasing hormone TRH thyroid releasing hormone this thyroid releasing hormone will be working on the pituitary gland this thyroid hormone thyroid uh, releasing hormone will talk to the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland, I have a uh, message for you. Okay, what message you carry? Okay, give me the message. Then pituitary gland will see the letter, and the he, he pituitary gland will see that the hypothalamus is asking send the informations to the thyroid gland that blood level of T3, T4 is low. Automatically, the thyroid uh, heart gland will know I have to work more, I have to more produce more T3, T4. So now, pituitary gland will send the information to the thyroid gland by TSAs, thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone will be working on the thyroid follicle and they will produce now T3 and T4 in the blood will be increased. So this negative will be the negative flag is no more. So then hypothalamus will understand that there is enough T3, T4 in the blood. Then hypothalamus will talk to pituitary that yes, tell the thyroid gland not to produce any more T3, T4 now. They will stop automatically. This system is known as negative feedback mechanism. Negative feedback mechanism. And this process is continuously happening in our body. Now, look at the connection thyroid stimulating and the T3, T4. When the T3 T4 are increased then thyroid stimulating hormone TSAs normally will be decreased. It is inversely related. Inversely related. And when the blood level of T3 and T4 is low then thyroid stimulating 
hormone is up. So that's the way it works. That's why doctor advise, advise blood work. Thyroid functions test. T3, T4 and stimulate, thyroid stimulative hormone. Okay, so this is called thyroid stimulating by negative feedback mechanism. So now I will go over the laboratory test. What are the laboratory tests we need to evaluate the functions of the thyroid gland? That means blood work. What are the blood works to understand the thyroid is thyroid gland is working that means physiology of the thyroid gland is normal laboratory tests known as thyroid profile also known as thyroid functions test. In the thyroid profile, we need to see T3, T4 and TSH. And T3, T4 are inversely related with the TSH. Okay, if it maintains this relationship that when the T3 and T4 are increased, the TSA is decreased. If it maintains like that, we call it that the hypothalamus, pituitary and the thyroid glands are working perfect. But if the profile comes like that, Okay. When you see the T3, T4 are increased and TSA is low, very low, that indicates hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism. And if TSA is increased and T3 and T4 are decreased then we call it hypothyroidism If the blood report comes that T3 and T4 are increased and that thyroid stimulating hormone is also increased, it should be opposite, right? Inversely related, but it is now directly related. Then what is the problem? Then you have to understand it indicates pathology is either in the pituitary gland or hypothalamus that means there is some T3 
tumor in the pituitary gland or in the hypothalamus. Pathology is either on the pituitary or the hypothalamus. Okay, so this is the arts this question. So now we'll talk about the what are the modalities? This is the lab. Beside this, they can do the fine needle aspiration that is called biopsy. Okay, so thyroid profile and if they need, so you can write down thyroid fine needle aspiration, also known as needle biopsy. Needle biopsy to see the cytology. The is there any abnormal cells found or not? So now, diagnostic test or imaging modalities. What are the other tests? What are the tests you can do on the thyroid gland in order to understand? their functions. One is, okay, diagnostic tests and imaging modalities. Number one, a nuclear medicine test, also known as radio nuclide nuclid thyroid scan. Radio nuclid thyroid scan also known as nuclear medicine test nuclear medicine test just nm radionuclide thyroid scan what do you mean by that so example so, thyroid gland has a follicle and that follicle has the cells. These follicular cells, they love iodine too much. And if iodine is added with an isotope, isotope is a charged particle negative positive charge so charged particle is added with iodine so now when this iodine is in the blood from the blood the iodine will go into the cells so then what happened the cells will get the iodine along with radioisotope because it is tagged with iodine. So when it is cells are very hungry for the iodine, so they will get the iodine along with the radioisotope. Now tell me when it going to happen? when the cells are alive and active. Am I right? If the cells are dead, then you are not going to see these blue dots. The follicle will be empty of isotope and iodine because the cells are dead or cells are sick. They are not uptaking the iodine. 
So now tell me if this is the thyroid gland and this is a mass or not we found and we found the concentration